Thank you for this opportunity to present the concerns I have regarding the struggles parents often face advocating for special education with the Committee on Special Education in Public Schools. I'm a parent of a child diagnosed at three and a half with per pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, or PDD and OS, an autism spectrum disorder. My son is nine and we reside in Dutchess County, New York. Entering kindergarten, my child was classified with other learning impaired or OHI instead of autism. The OHI classification resulted due to the school district not helping me understand my child's disability and classifying him accordingly. It has been my experience school districts capitalize on the ignorance of parents regarding special education entitlements as it relates to disabilities. It results in shortchanging our children. Over the next three years, my concerns were vehemently and repeatedly dismissed. This resulted in having my child thoroughly evaluated privately at the NYU Child Study Center in New York City, leading experts in the field of autism spectrum disorders. NYU determined unequivocally my child has an autism spectrum disorder. Based on opinion from the school psychologist and CSE chair, whose background was working with emotionally disturbed children, my child didn't present with an autism spectrum disorder. The ongoing rhetoric was, we don't see it in the classroom. Although I provided numerous samples of class and homework assignments showing my son was struggling, the district insisted my son was performing well compared to his peers. My son wasn't able to read, write, and do math at grade level and behind by two years. The district refused to make appropriate adjustments to his IEP. Instead of a collaborative environment, it was a stressful and unyielding CSE. My concerns with proof of my son's flagging performance and a credible evaluation were completely dismissed. I'm asking for the following as mandatory requirements on the CPSC and CSE. CSE chairs should be well versed in the New York State special education regulations. Provide parents with information on obtaining advocacy training. Remove the barrier of we don't see it rhetoric often stated by teachers and administrators dismissing parental concern Justification for not providing a FAPE, a free and appropriate education. Where there's disagreement about student in-class performance, the school must immediately make available the option of an IEE, an independent education evaluation at district expense, without an imposed cost cap to assess for appropriate placement and identify student needs in the classroom. PDD-NOS is an autism spectrum disorder that requires specific accommodations and considerations in the classroom. Therefore, a child diagnosed with PDD-NOS is classified under autism by default on the IEP. Parents can choose to opt out. Remove all due processing costs to parents, including expert witness testimony and district attorney fees in the event parents do not prevail. Costs should never be an obstacle for parents to exercise their due processing rights. Special ed teachers and teacher assistants must have certification and direct prior experience working with children on the autism spectrum. Collaboration is the key to providing an appropriate education for children with disabilities. The input parents provide must be given a high level of respect and attention to help address the individual needs of children in special ed. School districts must not be dismissive of parental concerns. Where there is disagreement, the district must immediately make available, at district expense without a cap, an independent education evaluation to help determine the needs of a student with a disability in the classroom. Thank you for taking my concerns under consideration.